What is up, guys? PK here. Oh, sorry, let me just piss off some people. What is up, guys? PK here. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Dark Tide. Now, apologies for not getting this video out yesterday, but it was just so hot. And today, it's equally hot. So the, the waiting didn't really, didn't really make a difference. But anyways, it's like 30 degrees. Like, this apartment is like a freaking sauna right now. It, it's So if, if my forehead suddenly starts blinding the camera, then uh, don't worry. That, that's just why. <laughs> but anyways, Dark Tide. Now, as you guys may or may not know, Dark Tide has been postponed that is to say the original release date uh, which was set for I believe 2021 um, most likely in December of 2021 has been postponed uh, to spring of 2022 now before we get into the nitty-gritty uh, talking points let's start out by just uh, looking really quickly at the actual statement made by a fat shark so here we are an update on dark tides launch window Today we made the difficult decision to move our release date of Warhammer 40k, Dark Tide, to the spring of 2022. We have a responsibility to deliver the best game we possibly can, and frankly we need more time to accomplish this goal. It's no secret that building a game during a pandemic is a challenge and we are not immune to this. We are planning to use the extra time to both focus on the level of quality at release, as well as invest in more systems to support Dark Tide for years to come. We couldn't be more excited about Dark Tide. In fact, the toughest part in this decision is the fact that we won't be able to put the game in your hands sooner. But I hope that you will join us in Hive Tertium early next year. From all the 150 plus sharks here in Stockholm, thank you for your amazing support. Martin Wallen, Fat Shark CEO and Founder. Now, I think this is a great decision. Here's why. Of course, the obvious talking point would be the comparison to sort of the mother load of bad releases, uh, sort of the, 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 the grand champion, <laughs> the grand champion of poor planning, uh, the lord of all train crashes when it comes to uh, a gaming release, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I don't think it's a fair comparison, to be honest, because I feel like, fa like not only are the games very different, but sort of the methodology... Uh, the methods of the two gaming companies are also very different, but let's nonetheless just talk a little bit about it. So Cyberpunk 2077 uh, was obviously a massive, massive blunder. Now, not only are the time were the time management skills like beyond like beyond ridiculous, right? Like, one, one thing I will never understand about Cyberpunk 2077 it's not the amount of time it took to make the game. It, it, it's the like how can your estimation be so off like how can it be so far off like, like at which point is there a meeting where this guy yeah, yeah it's ready in a year and then a year later it's like no no we need another six months and then six months later no no we need another six months and then oh, we need another year. like how do you get it so wrong have you not done any math <laughs> have you not tried to calculate you know okay we worked such and such fast we need this much work okay run a you know, give or take a few um, a few months, it's going to be ready around that. Like, how do you get it so far off? I will never understand. But nonetheless, uh, that really hurt Cyberpunk 2077. Again, because uh, at the final date, they pushed for it, they crunched, even though they said they wouldn't. And the launch was nonetheless still a huge train crash. Like, thankfully, I didn't get the worst end of the stick, since I have a fairly good gaming PC. And so, sort of, so I played on sort of the most stable version of the game. Um, and had relatively few issues. But even that being said, the, the launch hurt Cyberpunk as a game in the long term, no question about it, right? If you have a launch like that, a flawed launch, that is always going to hurt the long term success of the game, because you're not going to get that initial traction. Like, do you guys remember once upon a time when games were released finished? I know, right? Me neither. <laughs> like, uh, it's been so long, right? These days, it's all about pre-orders. It's all about get you know getting the game as fast as possible, giving them all your money before they've even like people. They can sell a concept idea these days, right? It's like it doesn't even have to be in coding. And I'm I'm not correlating this to Fat Check because I don't think that's how they do things, and I want to give them credit for that. In fact, I think the reason they have postponed the release, uh, the launch date so relatively early, like comparatively to, you know, uh, postponing it a month before, right, release, is both because that looks better, it also feels better, right, because you, you have more time to manage your expectations, right, if it's, if you're like, oh, Dark Tide in a month, and then they delay it, right, 
that's going to piss people off, right? So I think it's a great idea that they do it now. And I don't think they're actually that far behind. Like, I, I think... I think when they initially, and again, I'm just speculating here, let me make that clear. I think the initial date, which was just set for 2021, I think they, they you know, thought, oh, yeah, 2021, we're probably going to be finished, you know, halfway through 2021, so that's going to give us some extra leeway. And then Corona happened, that's likely set them back at least a couple of months, right? And then maybe uh, the hype is big enough that they really want to polish these things off. And I think Fatra have the generally the, the mentality of, not wanting to to push these things right they, they don't want to like i i know winds of magic very flawed release no doubt about it no question about it um but i think looking at fat shark as a company generally speaking I, i'm under the impression at least that they will much rather not give you a date than than be forced to sort of push the date right so i think that I actually already tried to be fairly ambiguous about when the game was going to release but then because of corona that date didn't work and, I, and that's totally fine i think this is the right decision to make so i'd much rather wait an extra six months and have a finished game on release a good game a game we can all get behind a game where we can really build the hype and and, and sort of uh, have a long-term success of dark tide and I also want to make it clear, I'm not going to stop making vermintide videos i mean i probably am for a month or so at least when dark tide comes out but i'm also want those of you that are just, you know, fantasy fans to know that I'm not going to completely stop making Vermintide videos. I like Vermintide, right? It, it's different than Dark Tide. Um, and I can, I can get behind both those games. And I can't wait, personally. I don't know about you guys, but I personally can't wait for Dark Tide to come out. But I would much rather ha wait and have the game be proper on release. So as sad as this is, I think they made the right decision. I also think it's a great decision to do it early, right? If it's one of those cases where, ah, oh, can we finish it? Yeah, then push it. Push it, right? Don't, don't, don't set people up for expectations and, and then that you then can't actually deliver on, right? And I think that's what Fat Shark has actually, to their credit, are usually pretty good at, right? Usually we don't know when a class is going to be released until like a week before, right? Um, which I think is a good thing because they don't want to give you a date and then end up disappointing you. Because let's be real, Vermintide and Warhammer in general is one of those fairly critical communities. Like you, <laughs> they know that it, <laughs> when they screw up, they, they, they know there will be no mercy. Like, I, <laughs> we're going to let them know, right? And, and Fat Shark are aware of this, I think. Um, and, and I really hope for Dark Tide that we can bridge the gap in communication that sort of existed between Fat Shark and the community for a while. I think so part, partially it has been. But I just know that was like, for those of you that don't know, when, when Vermintide was released, uh, they received a lot of very bad faith criticism for a certain... Uh, creative choices, content up, uh, releases, and there were a lot of people that were just being dicks, okay? And there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism, but let's be real, a lot of people were just dicks, right? And that just sort of widened the gap between uh, the, the, the sort of the publisher here, Fetchark, and the community for a long time. And I think that's what happened up to the release of, um, of Winds of Magic. Like, they're like, we're not going to listen to you, if you when you're all just being dicks, right? And of course, not everyone was being a dick. But as I know, as a creator, like, you're always going to look at the people that are, unfortunately, that are, <laughs> that, that are acting in bad faith. They sort of just fill up more of the space, right? Um, and so uh, let, let's not do that this time, okay? Let's, uh, let's try, to, try to, you know, be critical, but also be fair to, to Fat Shark regarding uh, postponing the date. Because uh, as I said, I think it's the right decision. One thing that it actually actually makes me really excited about the fact that it's been postponed is that hopefully, hopefully, because this is one flaw in my opinion, personal opinion, that they made with Winds of Magic, was that I, I remember I had just started my YouTube channel, right? Just started it. Winds of Magic was released. I had closed beta access. I released my first ever video that like received over 100 views in like the first hour or so, which was uh, the first weave, right? What a shit show that ended up being, but but nonetheless, right? I remember being at DreamHack, having this closed beta, and thinking, where's Fat Shark? They have like a huge, you know, DLC release, and they were nowhere to be found. Um, and so I hope, it's my hope at least, that by also pushing this release date, uh, maybe Fat Shark will come to DreamHack. Like, that's in, in Sweden, in Schoenkeping, and uh, Fat Shark are located in Stockholm, that's a couple of hours drive away. Um, at least I, that would excite the hell out of me. I, I'd love to do some promotional thing for Dark Tide at DreamHack. That would be as, as if you're watching Fat Shark, hit me up, man. <laughs> uh, 
I work GL at uh, East, for eSports security at DreamHack. Uh, uh, I'd love to see what I, what I can do. Because um, that, that would give that would give even sort of more time and more, uh, not only more publicity, but uh, I think it would be amazing if they set up like a beta access or something at the actual event. That's a couple of days of people being able to try, you know, get some first uh, first impressions. I think that would be amazing uh, and a great, great sort of... Uh, a great way to get people engaged and show show them something, you know, give them some breadcrumbs, uh, in order to to you know sort of as a as a plaster on the wound for having to to wait that extra time. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Those are my thoughts on uh, the whole dark tide postponing. Um, have a vermintide video coming up maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. Depends. I'm not entirely sure if I can finish it for tonight, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, it's coming tomorrow. Sorry for the lack of releases these past couple of days, but I've just been so busy. And whenever I've been home, it's been so fucking hot. Uh, I've just been sweating pearls, essentially, which is not great for recording. Okay, let's be real. Like, uh, it, it's only now, like, it's six or seven o'clock in the evening that it's like, okay, now we can sort of, you know... <laughs> now, now, now my, f my face isn't literally just a mirror, right? So you could just see yourself. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome. Peace out.